Hello, we're answering questions on health and medical problems. I'm joined by Dr. Rosemary Leonard. Hello. Hello. Rosemary, we've got a question for you about the MMR vaccination. A mother has written in to us to say that their GP recently wrote to them about their son, who's almost 13 months old, being due for his first MMR vaccination. Now, this is a mother who clearly, clearly would like to do the single vaccinations because she doesn't understand why her doctor can't administer them individually instead of the combined one. Why is this, she's asking? It, it's interesting to me, why has there been this drive to give single vaccines? There has been no research done on the single vaccines and there is no evidence that they're any safer than giving the triple vaccine. We've now got a huge amount of evidence to say that there is no link between the MMR vaccine and autism or inflammatory bowel disease. But I know a lot of parents, you still have this terrible doubt in your mind. You've got this perfect infant and you go along and you have a vaccination and you're thinking, ooh, what? Will I damage yeah, them? Will, yes. will I damage them? But the thing about the single vaccines is that they are made abroad. They are not licensed medicines. They are not produced under the rigorous conditions that the MMR vaccine is produced under. And there have been problems with some of the single vaccines coming in and not giving the immunity levels, particularly against measles, that you get with the triple vaccine. So the triple vaccine is actually safer. But with this whole question, I know a lot of parents are very worried about it. I found in my surgery, the most powerful thing I can say is I've got a photograph of my sons there and I say, they've both had the MMR and they're both perfectly fit and well. And that sways your patients more than anything else? More than anything else, because a lot of patients think, oh, she's just spieling out the standard medical stuff, you know, and they, don't they, they think she doesn't understand my worry as a parent. Yes, I do, but I genuinely, genuinely believe this vaccine is safe. And I've got a child on my list who has had measles recently and is now deaf. This is a nasty disease. You can't treat it with antibiotics. The, only, the best thing with measles is to prevent it before a child gets it. Well, I know that most GPs in the country definitely are passionate and take the line that you've taken. So that really, we are safe in saying that is the GP's view. Yes, the GP's view, and in my case, the parent's view as well. Thank you very much, Rosemary. Well, if you have a similar problem or similar doubts, we hope we have given you some help. But remember, it's always best to go and see your own doctor for medical advice. Thank you for watching. We'll be back with more health questions and answers.